Welcome to 30 Minutes of Madness. It's your girl Millie Madness here on QBC TV 22. And I'm here with a special guest. Help me welcome Miss Cumberland County, Elisa Rodriguez. <laughs> <laughs> welcome. Thanks for having me. Oh, thank you for coming on the show. It is an honor to have you. So let's get this party started, <laughs> shall we? Yes. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about yourself. So my name is Alyssa Rodriguez. I am Miss Cumberland County 2019. Yay. I just won this title in February, so a little fresh, a little new at this. This is my first ever title through the Miss America organization. And it was only my second pageant too through the Miss America organization. It was so exciting. I it was honestly the most incredible feeling just them calling my name and it kind of took a while for me to process everything yeah. it's like up oh, me yeah. okay got it <laughs> um, so yeah it's been an awesome ride I just came back from Miss New Jersey just a few short weeks ago that was incredible I think honestly I was speechless at some moments we stayed at the resorts hotel and casino in Atlantic City and the pageant was actually in Superstar Theater. So everything was right there. It was nice and convenient. And that entire week, we were treated like absolute princesses. Uh, we had our own security details. And we got to do a lot of exciting things, like the axe throwing on Steel Pier. We actually had a family night. So all my family got to come see me on Friday night, kind of like a little break in between preliminaries and finals. And actually, the most exciting thing is that I was the People's Choice winner. That was completely exhilarating. They called my name, and again, it took me a while to process it because not only was I picked by the people, but I had to compete again that night oh, with wow. a question a lot harder than my first onstage question. But it was definitely a remarkable experience. I, as a rookie, you know, you dream about becoming in the top finalists. So I think there were two rookies um, as like the top 11 finalists. So being one of them, like it was, it was honestly, it was an honor because they always tell you, like the previous Miss New Jersey, is like you're not only competing for yourself, but you're representing where you come from. You're representing your title, but you're also representing, you know, the girls that didn't actually win any local titles. Uh, no pressure. No pressure. No pressure at all. <laughs> so yeah, like being able to represent the girls that maybe didn't make it into the top finalists or even the girls that I competed against during our local pageants. Wow. So no pressure at all, no just pressure. representing no, everyone nothing. from everywhere. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, but gotcha. pressure is good, pressure is good. <laughs> Wow, well, you did amazing. Thank you. I was you. following you through the journey, and you really represented well. So congratulations on all of that. I mean, well-deserved. Thank you. Um, tell me a little bit about how do you prepare for these things? <laughs> the questions, what do I wear? What do I, like? I prepare uh, with uh, a lot of help from my family, yes. specifically my mom and my grandma and Kind of all the women in my family, they help prepare me. My mom is my stylist, nice. and she will be the first one to tell you that. Yes. So she obviously <laughs> helps. Yeah, my momager. <laughs> yes. She helps style me um, during my preparations for Miss Cumberland County. I was like in full pageant mode. I was practicing everything down to my walk for maybe a month, and I had my friends just kind of asking me random questions about anything and I'd have to speak about it for 30 seconds. So that's kind of the preparation that we go through, just keeping current on all of the events and the news that's happening because you don't know what's gonna come up in your private interview, let alone your onstage interview. And a lot of people don't notice or understand that before the pageant even starts, we already have a percentage of our score done during a private interview with the judges, like the wow. panel of judges either um, the morning of, if it's like a local title, or through the state competition, it was maybe the day of a prelim or like that Tuesday morning. So already they already kind of get the gist of you. They understand like what you're all about. And you know, a lot of people don't understand that. It's like, that is so much pressure to put on maybe our youngest competitor was 18 years old, wow. 18 or 19, fresh out of high school. Wow. And it's, it's a lot. Um, 
but it's fun. The preparation stage is just like, you know, making sure that these certain earrings can match the dress. And we had a lot of different things, such as a um, lifestyle wear, where you kind of wear like whatever represents you. So what you want to be when you grow up, what are your hobbies? So I dressed up like a congresswoman. Nice. Um, on the, yeah, the Miss New Jersey stage. And then you kind of like have your own uh, say in what you're wearing on stage. And then we had our college pride wear. Um, so my college actually donated $500 worth of um, like just wardrobe and clothes and anything that I needed for that entire week. Wow. So, yeah, that, that, <laughs> my mom was so happy about oh, that. Yeah, so that's they, a big help. Yeah, so they offered a lot of things and um, activities for us to kind of showcase like who we are and express ourselves in, um, in more than just like evening wear and on stage questions. So just that I think the most stressful part was packing. <laughs> down, yes. down to like the bracelet and it's just it's a lot to kind of understand and take in like there's a lot of preparation that goes into this and I didn't even understand that until we were in the middle of it and I was like oh gosh <laughs> <What>? I, was <laughs> like, I was like this is so much <laughs> it's a lot Wow! Yeah, it, I, it's intense. It's it sounds very intense. intense. I'm I'm like thinking like, oh wow, how much luggage oh, did you have to I, bring to, I can't to make even, sure that you have everything because you can't you can't if, just leave if you anything something. behind. Yeah, it's, so you have to take everything with yeah, you. Yeah, I brought my whole room. And yeah. during Miss New Jersey week, I was actually taking a summer course in D.C. at the George Washington University where I attend. Wow. So in the midst of preparing for probably the biggest challenge of my entire life, oh, no. I was writing essays, I was doing my homework, I was sending it in through Blackboard like that entire week and doing reading. So I would stay up, my roommate would go to bed, and I'm reading about sociology. So on top of the stress of Miss New Jersey, I just decided to take oh, a summer yeah. class. No pressure, <laughs> yeah, no pressure. Definitely. <laughs> but I have to stay busy. I can't really wow. stay still. I always have something on my plate. Um, and yeah, I actually got a B plus in the class, which was okay. Um, but yeah, it was so on top of all the stresses of That's state competition. That's to get a B plus. A, you know, a three or four credit course that you're taking as well. So, yeah, definitely a, a challenge, but I got through it. Phenomenal. I mean, <laughs> I can't, I, I mean, you truly are a diamond. Oh, because you thank are you. Perfect, <laughs> you know, perfectly made under pressure. <laughs> and I, I, you know, you're an inspiration to a lot of girls. Oh, and and thank that you. is incredible what you do. Um, wow. We're, we're going to take a short break and we're going to come back to find out more about what you have going on next and all the great because I want to touch up on what you want to do as a congresswoman and yeah. things like that. When we come back, we're going to take a quick break and we'll come back. 30 minutes of madness is your girl, Millie Madness. We'll come back right after these messages. More than a century ago, General Tire was born, right here in America. Since then, we've made a name for ourselves by making tires you can depend on. Tires built to handle any road this country can throw at them, and relied on by every kind of driver. So you know that no matter where life takes you, with General Tire, anywhere is possible.
for the unexpected. Beyond the Insurance, 696-0700. Hi, this is Ben Lurie from Ben's ProServe. Are you looking to save money on your utility bills? As one of South Jersey's sources for the New Jersey Clean Energy Program, we can install insulation and an efficient heating and air conditioning system for you with up to $4,000 in rebates and up to $10,000 in 0% financing to help you save even more. Call us today at 856-500-3222 or visit besttocallben.com. If you haven't been to Bruni's Breakfast and Burgers yet, what are you waiting for? They offer unique and fresh take on breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Formerly Torelli's and Billy D's, they are keeping tradition alive with their version of the special sauce. Burgers and breakfast served all day. With your busy schedule in mind, they offer takeout and fast and friendly eat-in service. Call 856-765-5063 and they'll have your order ready and waiting for you. Check them out on Facebook to see the menu and their rave reviews. Bruni's Breakfast and Burgers is located in the Millville Arts District, 423 North High Street. Cedar Lane Feeds in Elmer has everything you need to keep your livestock happy and healthy. They've got food, medications, grooming supplies, treats, and toys for animals of all sizes. For indoor pets or outdoor pasture, Cedar Lane Feeds has you covered. Farmers, be sure to stop by on Tuesdays at 1 p.m. for their weekly livestock auction. Cedar Lane Feeds is open Monday to Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and Saturdays from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. That's Cedar Lane Feeds in Elmer. The Cumberland County Improvement Authority is here to help all of us to enjoy the rich, rural landscapes where we live. Follow the leader and reach for paper bags or bags made from cloth to hold groceries and shopping items. Together with the CCIA, we can all begin to change the plastic pollution to the bags from natural materials solution. The Cumberland County Improvement Authority is a great partner to help us all turn away from using plastic bags to living as New Jersey coastal dwellers who prefer our beaches and waterways to be plastic free. Visit the Cumberland County Improvement Authority online at CCIA cia-net.com for tips on the ways we can all make to move away from plastic. Welcome back to 30 Minutes of Madness. It's your girl, Millie Madness, here on QBC TV 22. And I'm here once again with my special guest, Ms. Cumberland County. I, how impressive is all of that? Um, I mean, I just can't imagine going through all of that pressure and having such a, a success in your studies in the pageant, I mean, what advice do you have for young girls that are interested in doing, being part of the pageant or, or they wanna be involved in something like this? Like, what kind of advice would you give them? Yeah, so my advice would just kind of be, you know, number one, be yourself. Uh, anyone can definitely see if you're not being your authentic self and you're not being genuine. And number two, just, Take that chance, take that risk. If you're not so sure you want to do it, just do it. There's no harm in trying. Because at the end of the day, if you don't even win a title, if you don't win you know, the sparkly hat, you're still you and you have learned so much throughout the competition already. I know I've done competitions where I haven't won, but I walk out and I notice a change in myself. And it's usually for the better. It instills such this crazy amount of confidence in you that you didn't even knew, like know you had before and I think that's definitely the most important thing like having a title is amazing but having confidence in yourself and understanding who you are even better and even more that's the ultimate title that's the ultimate grand prize so just do it and you'll thank yourself stepping out of your comfort zone is probably the scariest thing you could ever do but nothing good ever happens out of a comfort zone and we have to be comfortable with being uncomfortable and I definitely was very uncomfortable walking into a state competition never having any other experience but I know that it just made me into a better person yes absolutely wow um, incredible what, what, what are some of your inspirations like who 
has inspired you? Like, so I think I have a lot of inspirations. Um, obviously, I have to give it to, you know, my grandparents and like you know all the women in my family. Really, my yes. great grandmother, uh, who came here with, who came to New Jersey with a third grade education, and managed to raise all of us, like all of my family. And you know, my mom, she inspires me because I know that she would have wanted to do all of these things. And the fact that I have the opportunity to, you know, experience everything that I'm experiencing right now, like I know that she is happy to see that and that inspires me. And then, you know, I have all of my younger siblings and younger cousins. I think really at the end of the day, it's just, you know, people inspire me whether they're famous, whether they're celebrities, whether they're just my, you know, my friends or my family. I think it definitely does start with a personal touch. So I'm inspired by everyone who's kind of been there for me and who's tried to lift me up because that just gives me the more motivation. Definitely, the support is yeah. such a key part. You know, they it's say like <laughs> they say it takes a village, and I'm like, yeah. well, I have about three, yeah. and I have the best villages. Ever. I say this all the time. Nice. And yeah, they've definitely just been a huge help, whether it's driving me to appearances or even without the title. I mean, yeah. driving me to college, moving me in. That's not an easy thing to do, especially when you go to school in Washington, D.C., where the traffic is insane. You have to park your nice car up to the curb. So yeah. it's just a lot goes in. A lot of sacrifices have been made for me. So I understand that, you know, it might be wow. pressure, but... I have to do it. That's who else is going to do it? Yeah, you know? yeah, absolutely. And and tell me where where are you right now in your studies, as far as um, what what your goals are? Okay. Yeah. So I attend the George Washington University in Washington D.C. Okay. I am a women's gender and sexuality studies major, a political science minor with a concentration in public policy. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I, I intend on applying to this combined master's bachelor's program, which will give me my master's in five years in women's studies. And wow. yeah, it's actually the oldest department in the country, the Women's Gender and Sexuality Studies Department at GW. So it's really awesome to kind of be a part of like that tradition that they have there and really get to connect with all the professors that we have. And it's definitely an amazing department and awesome support system too even in DC so I am I am like the PR chair and the secretary for the women's gender and sexuality studies student association which kind of really uh, pans in on you know our major and the people that are in that major and minor and it kind of creates like a closer community within all of us because there's not that many of us so we figure trying to engage um, just together creating a better environment for that nice so, yeah wow yeah <laughs> and, and ultimately um, you want to be a congresswoman so ultimately I hope to become a civil rights attorney for the ACLU mm -hmm. um, that is the main goal that is what I've wanted to do for I don't even know how many years so law school after college wow and yeah I am just so interested in civil law. I think it's something super important and just kind of creating that social justice and being even a small part of, you know, these big things. You know, the ACLU, they were involved in Brown versus Board of Ed. They were involved in Roe v. Wade and all these huge, um, you know, cases. Like, no matter what the outcome, I think that would be an amazing legacy to kind of latch on to, you know? Yes, absolutely. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Yeah. So tell us, um, what's next for you? What, what do you have? What, what is your next thing? My next thing? <laughs> yeah. So actually, I just got an email from Casa Prac. So I'm actually getting a Hispanic Achievement Award nice. in October. So that's kind of nice. Thank you. Very exciting. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. I um, So long term or short term? So short term, I've applied to a few internships. Um, I just finished my internship with Congressman Jeff Van Drew yes. on Capitol Hill. I just finished that program up. 
Nice. That was amazing. And I know that's something that I really like. I'm very interested in public policy and kind of just being a public servant, whether it's um, being a title holder or a congresswoman, because that would also be amazing. Yes, yes. Um, so yeah, I've just been applying and I apply to my master's program soon. So it's just a lot of exciting things, a lot of things that kind of help me get to my actual path. So we're past all of you know the general education requirements and now I'm like just really getting down to business and figuring out and understanding like this is what I want to do. Yes. And it's honestly an amazing feeling to say that like I oh there's a fly. Um yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing cuz you know I know what I want to do. I have my plan. So just it's, and it's really hard to plan out, though, exactly what's next. Yeah. You know? Like, it's, what's next is whatever really yeah, happens next. Yeah, I have yeah. my Go plan. with the flow, yeah. The universe has its plan. <laughs> exactly. So we're just going to plan together, hopefully. Exactly. Are you going to continue in the pageant side of things? So I think I will. I, um, they call it crowning out, so I won't resign my title, but I'll wait until the next uh, Miss Cumberland County is crowned. So I'll crown her. Um, in probably February, okay. then I'll take a little break, and I'm actually okay. thinking of competing um, in the Miss District of Columbia scholarship ah, competition. Just okay. since I live out there, and yeah. I'm like, like I said before, like what do I have to lose? Yeah, you know, it's just yes. these are experiences that no one else can really get, and I have the opportunity to um, to do it. Like why not? Yeah, just absolutely. I have all the tools, I have all the resources. Yes. And if that doesn't work out, like if I don't win, I'll probably compete in the Miss New Jersey circuit uh, one more time. Hopefully, make it to Miss New Jersey one more time, yes. and then I think I have plans to retire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, but I definitely like what you know the Miss America organization offers, and it's the top provider for scholarship yes. money uh, for young women in the nation you know yes that's amazing i was able to pay off most of my you know my fall semester wow that's amazing and that's something yeah. that no one notices like there's a lot of money in this and you know being the leading scholarship provider for women i think it's important for all of us to take advantage of that yes absolutely so Alyssa, tell us where can people find you and follow you and get to know what's going on and know everything about you all right yeah <laughs> so you can like my facebook page it's the miss cumberland county scholarship pageant and then my instagram for miss cumberland county is miss cumberland county mao and then my personal accounts are usually just Alyssa Rodriguez. You can stay up to date um, just by my personal pages, or I try and post a lot on my title holder page. Um, either way, you can find those kind of on just Facebook and Instagram and keep up to date with what I have going on. I have some pretty cool events and appearances coming up, so if you stay tuned. I don't like to share too much information. I like for people to be a little bit surprised. So if you follow my social media accounts, you'll be able to stay up to date on everything that I've been doing and everything that I plan to do. Yes. All right. Well, I can't thank you enough for coming on the show and sharing all your experience, your advice, your information. It was a pleasure and honor to have you on the show. And I thank you, oh, thank for you so much. for everything that you do. It was my pleasure. Oh. I'm so happy that I was able to be here. <laughs> oh, thank you. Well, we definitely have to have you back on the show yeah. at some point when, you know, we Maybe have if I'm a little just time. Maybe regular Alyssa listen, next time. <laughs> whenever you like, you're always welcome on the show. Oh, thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you. So there you have it on 30 Minutes of Madness. So much information. So many great things going on. Um, follow, support. It's so important. Um, sometimes people don't understand that when you do so much how support just simple support following cheering showing up attending just even the simple things um, donating whatever you can it's it's such a important role that you can play uh, in supporting such positive things and join the positive movement um, especially that Alyssa is a part of so and leading full force <laughs> ahead so please support and uh, check us out 30 minutes madness check her social media page out 
appreciate your time. It's Millie Madness here on 30 Minutes of Madness on QBC TV 22. We'll see you next time. You desire only the best, and when it comes to the best, dreams start here. <gasps> Get your real estate license today at Elite Advantage Real Estate Academy, making dreams reality. Gary's Landscaping, one cut above the rest. For heavy duty jobs to small lawns, Gary's got you covered. From brush hauls to big overalls, leaf removal in the fall, snow removal in the winter, Gary's Landscaping is your choice for all. No yards too big or too small, Gary can handle them all. Give them a call at 856-305-3574. And remember, Gary's Landscaping, one cut above the rest. The Lee Boy Theater is celebrating its 6th anniversary in the heart of Millville's Downtown Arts District. This year, we invite you to discover our season of your favorite Broadway-style productions. Subscriptions are available now, and if you call or go online today, this whole season can be yours to enjoy with your family and friends. The Lee Boy Theater, where community and the arts come together.